In this video lesson, we are going to find out whether the given set is the subset of the set or not. Right? And giving the appropriate symbols, the symbol is uh, read as is the subset of and is not the subset of. We know already this. All right? Just we're going to uh, separate now whether like the first set is the subset of the second one or not. And you know already that how we can write the subset of from the given set or how to distinguish a given set is whether the subset of some some set or not right uh, in a very short I'm going to first explain here what is set and how to write the subset of that and then we will be writing just the symbol here right suppose I have set A uh, which is uh, the first five digits that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 these are the first five digits and if B is the first uh, first uh, two even numbers all right first two let me suppose first uh, three digit just first three digit all right zero one and two all right here it is b and let me suppose here c is my another set which represents uh, the uh, which represents suppose uh, first two odd numbers so first two odd numbers is uh, one and three all right so here i have set a set B and set C. So B is a such a set I have created from the elements of set A. Similarly C is such a set I have created from the elements of set A. Means all the elements of B, keep in mind again, all the elements of B that is 0, 1 and 2 is under the set A. Similarly all the elements of C, 1 and 3 is under the set A. So that is why I can say that set B and set C is the subset of A. Alright. So in that case, I'll write B is the subset of A. And similarly, C is the subset of C is the subset of A. Alright. I hope that is clear. And let's see here whether that is subset or not. The first set here uh, that is uh, including the members 2, 3, and 4. So if members 2, 3, and 4 is in the second one, second set, then I can say the first set is the subset of the second one, otherwise not. So I'm just going to check whether 2 is in this or not. Yes, I got it. Similarly, 3 is not, 3 is, yes, I got it. And I will check whether 4 is here or not. I got the 4 also. Means all the elements of the first set is inside the second set. So in that case, I can say, yes, the first set is the subset of the second one. All right. Similarly, uh, let's check another one. Here I have the set A, B, C. Uh, A, B, C are the elements here. A, B, and C. And here if I'm checking, I got the B, I got the C, but I didn't get the A. Where is A? So in that case, all the elements of the first set is not in the set second. So that time I can't say this is a subset. So first set is not the subset of second set. Right? Another one here. Uh, X is element, you know, such so that X is the student of class 11 of your school. Okay, suppose in my school uh, there are 30 or 40, whatever the students of 11 there are, and that is one set. And second set is X such so that is student of your school. So definitely all the all the elements, not all the student of class 11 is definitely the uh, definitely the student of my school also because my school is very big and class 11. Class 11 is a small part of that big school, right? This is school and this is just a class. So class is an actually element or a member of a school. So yes, this is. Because all the student of the class 11 is the part of that school, is the members of that school also, is the student of that school also. That's why this is a subset, all right? And the next one is, X is a circle in a plane. Okay, I have a circle in a plane. And X is a circle in that same plane with the radius unit 1. Okay. Uh, so circles in a plane, it can be even bigger, it can be smaller or very smaller with the various radius. Radius is, you know, it can be anything. Any 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 measurement there might be. It may be 1 centimeter, it may be 2 centimeter, it may be 5 centimeter, anything it can be. But here X is a circle in the same plane with the radius 1. So they are, they are, they are here fixing that radius is 1 unit only. All right just one unit so it's a, it's it's a specified re, it's a specified circle you can say which has the unit 1 but here it is not specified it's just in a in a 
in a plane in a in a plane x and y you can just draw the circle of any measurement means there is a huge number of circle but here there is only one so so this is a very big circle big, big set but this is just a specified one set so yes this time i can't say this is a subset right so x is a triangle in a plane again uh, x in that case if you go deeply you know what it is exactly i can say that x this this second set is actually the subset of the first one here in this case but we are not going to write because the question is just saying us whether the first one is the subset of second one or not that is just we need to separate here all right but if you go uh, in further here yes, second set is the subset of the first one now the next one is here x is a triangle in a plane so triangle can be of any measurement that doesn't matter all right bigger or smaller and x is a rectangle in a plane rectangle in a plane and a triangle how a triangle can be the part of the uh, 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 rectangle uh, like like this is a rectangle and this is a triangle so triangle is are of you know anything like it can be a right angle triangle it can be a skeleton triangle it can be isosceles triangle so no it's not triangle can be of any and these triangles are not the members of the all rectangles all right in in, in if you saw in rectangle that there is only one possible uh, uh, rectangles uh, in rectangle only we will get right angle triangles but also we are not said to, uh, to, uh, to divide into two part by the diagonal so simply it's not right triangles are not the say uh, are not the subset of the rectangles so this is not the subset another one X says that X is an equilateral triangle in a plane yes okay let's go I have a plane suppose all right this is my x axis and y axis and equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal all right and all the angles are 60 degree this 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 all the angles are 60 degree and the next question is the next part is uh x is a triangle in the same plane yes in the same plane triangle all right in the same plane there are huge number of triangle like right uh, i'm making a right angle triangle i'm making an isosceles triangle uh, I can make an skeleton triangle. So there are various types of the triangles. I can make hundreds and hundreds of triangles, unlimited triangles I can make in this XY plane. And out of those all triangle, I need to select only those triangles which are iso uh, which are uh, equilateral triangle, which have all the sides equal. So yes, under the all triangles means all triangles have all triangles that is very big in all triangle. I'm just going to take which triangle? Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle is actually just a part of the all triangles. So if something is member of this region, means definitely that is the member of this big circle also. Alright? So in that case, what I can say that yes, this is a subset. Alright? And now here I have x is an even natural numbers even natural numbers natural numbers means including one and all the bigger numbers in means a natural number start from one two three four and so on and i need to select here only even numbers okay only even numbers means i need to select two i need to select four i need to select six and all those numbers and x is an integer yes integer start from minus infinity from minus infinity to till infinity we have and all the numbers like uh, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the numbers, these all are integers, right? These all are integers. Out of those, I have to just select, uh, not even from negative, I need to select from the positive section all the positive natural numbers, 2, and then 4, and, and then 6. So these positive integers, positive even numbers are just a member of or just a part of these integers. Like I'm going to say, if integer is very big, all right. If this is integer very big, then there is a small reason where we'll get the positive natural numbers. Positive natural numbers, natural numbers, all right. Positive natural numbers like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. So these are just a small part out of those all numbers minus one, minus two, uh, four, uh, like 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 that, like minus fourteen. Any number you choose it, just positive we're going to take like three five seven so this is a small reason positive natural numbers is a small reason of the integer integer is a very big in which uh, positive integer is a small part so anything or uh, any set all or you can say all the numbers or all the members which falls in this positive natural numbers is the members of the big set that is i also and i is the 
integers so yes definitely I can say that x is an even number natural number then uh, means the, this first set is the subset of the second set alright I hope you understand how to separate uh, whether or how to identify whether a given set is the subset of the another given set or not all right and if there is any problem while understanding or anything uh, you want to ask then feel free to comment just below this video i would really appreciate that and i will feel happy all right and catch you in the next video goodbye